five luxury must-haves in my collection tag. Hello beautiful bag lovers, this is Trina from the Bag Hag Digest. So a couple of weeks ago I saw floating around this tag for five items that uh, you must have if you're a luxury lover. And I thought this was an interesting tag to do. And of course I wasn't invited because nobody knows me, I'm a new YouTuber. So I just thought I'd invite myself. I'm gonna tag anybody who's also new to YouTube as well and who might be interested in doing such a tag. You have to be a newbie though, like within the last few months, like me. I wanna meet other people like me. I'm lonely. So I thought this was an interesting tag to participate in uh, for two reasons. First of all, it gives me a chance to talk about something other than bags. I mean, I'm a bag channel, but you know, I like other stuff too. And second, I thought the tag was a bit of an oxymoron. I mean, luxury by its nature, by its definition, means something you don't really need. So I interpreted the tag to be something that uh, you have that's a little bit higher end, it, it feels luxurious to you, and that once you've had it, you really can't live without it, you love it that much. Uh, so, without further ado, here are my five items. And the first one, I think, is probably the most interesting because the other people I've seen on YouTube who have done this particular tag video have not mentioned this genre. And I'm talking about perfume. Perfume, high-end, like having a one, at least one high-end perfume in your collection if you collect perfumes, or even if you don't, to me is, is really a must. And right now, my tastes change a lot, and I'm a bit of a frag hag in addition to a bag hag, so I do a lot of perfume. But right now, my top three are Amouage from, um, no, no, Amouage is the brand, Memoir for Women by Amouage and uh, one that I don't have but really want, which is Portrait of a Lady by Frédéric Mal. And the one that I have a tiny little drop of left is my most, oh, here comes another plane again. I got so many planes. I can't get through a video without a plane going by. This is what you get for living near an airport. So the one I have here is called uh, Baccarat Rouge uh, 540, which I guess in English is, uh, a red Baccarat for 540. It's by Maison Francis uh, Cœur de Jean. And this is the most, one of the most stunning, probably right now in my opinion, the most stunning fragrance that I've smelled. And I've smelled a lot of really good perfume. Of course, you know, my taste change, my mood changes, and um, there's always new and wonderful things coming out. But this perfume is truly stunning. It's rose and saffron. It's sweet, it's ambery, it's, it envelops you with this translucent, like transparent pillow of love. If you can get your nose on this, I highly recommend it. It doesn't look like this. I'll, I'll put a picture somewhere of what the bottle looks like. Uh, I think uh, Francis uh, Kier de Jean made this to commemorate something with uh, the Crystal Company, company Baccarat. And 540 is apparently the temperature needed to create that stunning red crystal color that I believe the company is famous for. Not Francis, but Baccarat. So that's my first uh, luxury piece. My second one is one that I'm wearing now, which are these Chanel vintage uh, earrings. And they weren't very expensive, relatively speaking. To be honest, the gold that I'm wearing is much more expensive and much more important to me because I inherited it from my great-grandmother, my mother, um, grandmother. So these are really important luxury pieces, but they're not brand names and you can't really get them easily, so I guess they don't qualify. Uh, so this is actually one of the few uh, pieces of uh, costume jewelry that I have, and obviously it's Chanel, so it's well-made and I got them at a fantastic price, as I usually do, because I'm so good at hunting for goodies. So that's my second one. Here comes another plane, hold on. Okay, now my third item is no surprise to most of you. A lot of you who are doing this tag or who are bag lovers also have the Speedy 30. I think the Speedy 30 bandoulier, bandoulier is more popular now because of the practicality of the strap. When I got this, um, I got it as a project bag, I'll be honest. I didn't think I was gonna keep it. 
It was uber, well, relatively uber cheap. And I just wanted to, I bought it with the intention of trying out how, how I could be successful with dyeing it. And I was successful with it. And now this is like one of my most used bags and I adore it. I never thought that I would get so much use out of a bag that can only be worn as a satchel. But the truth of the matter is, um, in my current uh, lifestyle, I'm in the car a lot. This just goes on the seat and I just go in and out with it. It's so practical for right now. Before I moved away from Tokyo, uh, it would have been a tote or something I could carry around more easily, but now it's, it's, it's this one. I love it so much. And the good thing is it fits so much and if I need something lighter uh, going in and out of the car, I can put something like this inside or another smaller item that I can carry around in and out. So this meets uh, the top five list at number three. Number four is actually uh, a scarf. This is from the uh, Louis Vuitton collection. What's his name? Steven Strauss, the graffiti guy who has this, um, put this, uh, what is this? Graffiti or pink Louis Vuitton written on here. And I use this scarf so much. It's huge and it's really light and it's cozy. Perfect for transportation on the bus or the plane and it goes with everything and it's you can wash it it's, it's not i don't even know what this is made of but it, it's very it's just very soft and it's it's my main scarf that i own and i use it a lot i, I one it, it doesn't keep very well it, it does wrinkle and fray a little bit but it's already been worth it to me because i do get so much use out of it normally i'm not an animal print type of gal but somehow it works it doesn't really work what I'm wearing at the moment though. Yeah, last, oh, today I'm rocking this Proenza Schooler uh, pouch bag in suede leather, very luxurious. But that's not the item. The item that meets my top five is inside it. And probably many of you won't be surprised by this. It's the mini pochette. Um, this goes in all of my bags. It carries all my little bits and bobs, including loose cash. I put my change in another little plastic container because I think coins are pretty filthy. Actually, bills are filthy too, but for some reason, it, it works for me to have just loose change in here. Japan is a cash-based economy, so I do need to have cash with me all the time. And I have been thinking about getting a wallet, but I'm really picky about wallets. And uh, right now I'm looking at the Louis Vuitton Zoe wallet, which is perfect, very minimalist wallet but this is working out for me now with the cash situation, so I'm gonna keep it. And for everything else that I carry with me, it, it definitely works out. And I've tried other little pouches that aren't uh, high-end, that aren't even designer. Yeah, this one's, it's, there's something about it. I, I can't put my finger on it. It's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And I will review that in a later video and also give you guys a look at my schooler bag too, because this is also great, but didn't make the top five. Okay, so that is my top five um, luxury I must have items in my collection. I hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day. Bag Hag, signing off.